hello, it is me, Gary. Now I'm doing the usual thing where I pretend to be Gary, even though I'm quite obviously very similar to Gary in appearance. So, um, how is everyone? Um, interesting football thus far, I think it's fair to say. Um, three o'clock games just kicking off. You may have noticed I am not Gary. Uh, Gary is unavailable uh, today, so he has uh, kindly asked me to take the mantle. And yeah, that is that is it. Uh, Sam has a a family situation uh, with which to respect him uh, is in our thoughts. So basically, you are stuck with me. I don't. Don't don't click off because you know leaving me sat here by myself is it's not very nice. So um yeah, what's going on in the world of football? It's uh, fascinating stuff out there. Uh, we have games such as Aston Villa versus Brentford, Everton versus Burnley, Fulham versus Newcastle United, Luton will play. Bournemouth, Wolverhampton Wanderers will play at home to West Ham United, more importantly in the Championship, Blackburn home to Southampton, Cardiff playing Hull, Huddersfield at home to Millwall, Leicester at home to Birmingham, Middlesbrough and for Swansea, Queen's Park Rangers will play Sheffield Wednesday in a, it's fair to say it's a relegation battle. Uh, Sunderland out home to Bristol City and Watford home to Preston North End, plus various games around Europe. AC Milan 2 0 up at half time against Lecce or Lecce. It's probably Lecce. And yeah, so that being said, by Leverkusen are in midway through the first half in Union Berlin. Well, it's in Berlin, isn't it? Leipzig playing 2 0 up at Freiburg, and Bayern Munich are beating, they're not beating, they're drawing 0 0 at Heidenheim. I wonder if the title will end today if they. No, no, no. There is multiple games still left. So that being said, yeah, whatever. Oh, mines have just scored at Darmstadt, and yeah, so. I'm just going to sit here and read out football scores, I suppose, unless someone talks to me. But, but whatever. Uh, Saudi Professional League. Bloody old Leeds, not under 21, lost 4 0 at Norton Forest. It's not great, is it? Not amazing. Uh, oh, my. Oh, we're bottom of the under 21 league. That's nice. Although our best players, obviously, in the under 21s play in the first team. So, there you go. Not that it's an excuse, but it's a reality. Uh, so, yeah, that being said. So Man City won in the morning kickoff, and Norwich City beat Ipswich, which uh, I'd be, be disingenuous of me to say that I didn't like that result. But anyway, so yeah. Anywho, so this is the start of 
put it this way, in 12 hours' time, I'm probably still going to be sat here because it's WrestleMania weekend. So there you go. And it actually starts in about two and a half hours, I think. About two, three hours. So I don't know. There you go. So whatever. I'm half tempted to just sit here and work on my uh, Legion I show for tomorrow because uh, otherwise I'm just wasting two hours of my life. Just say, um, but uh, yeah, whatever. Oh look, I have a guest. Thank God. What's going on, man? Dude, I was dying on my ass here. I mean, I can make stuff up. It's just more the fact that why should I have to if I know that no one's there? Yeah. So what do you want to talk about? Happy Saturday. Yes, yeah, sorry. It was rude of me. No, you're How fine. Are I'm good, man. I mean, I get it. Solo is not always the most fun. It's fun to do things together, right? Well, I had, just before you logged on, I had threatened to just sit here and work on my lead show live on the internet. For tomorrow <laughs> i mean it's multitasking you got a big weekend right you got nxt next uh wrestlemania two nights um yeah, well, you saw the itinerary it's it, it's brutal yeah but it'll be fun so at the end of the day yeah. you know I, the problem is i can't say no to I, I don't want to not help people so like when guys like oh tom can you take over the show and stuff i'm like i'm sitting there i'm like yeah yeah sure gary and then in the back of my mind afterwards i'm like Tom, that just means you've put yourself on the internet for 12 hours. That's how it works, man. But uh, what we got going around the championship today? I guess we could start there, right? There are worse places to start. We can start uh, with League Two. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we can actually start with League Two. I mean, there's actually no issue with that. Uh, I'll, I'll be lying if I said I didn't head straight for Transmere. Oh, well, why not? It's a gift that keeps on giving, right? Yep, Transmere are going to try and convert a goalless straw into a win, I'd imagine. They're probably used to that. Anyway, what? Um, Ange is in the chat. Hello, Ange. You get the prize for being the first commenter. Admittedly, there's no physical prize. It's purely metaphorical, of course. Yeah. You wouldn't want there to be a physical prize. Because I'll I'd be offering a prize, so it got to win something. Do not want that. I I, I don't mean anything, you know. <laughs> nothing, nothing that's gonna get me cancelled. Just probably lo like um, punched in the face or something like that. Anyway, what um, like a prize out of a cereal box. Yeah, you can have one of my old McDonald's toys from when I was a kid, like the little fake milkshake man or whatever. But um, what game have you got on your Peacock, sir? So we've got Aston Villa and Brentford up here. Um, I've got the PS5 up. I'm probably going to try to put another game up here on the other TV. Oh, you can do you've got PS5, sir. I do. I, do. I well, don't know why I found so surprised by that. Like, I know you have consoles because you game. I just didn't yeah. know the specific one. Yeah, I got the 5, the 4. I've always been a PlayStation guy. The only thing I don't still own is my original one. So, which obviously at that day and age was probably sold in to make money for the two, right? If um, I remember rightly, I had the I had the original one, and then there was that phase where like you could get it what they call in England chips. So mm -hmm. then you can get your cheap game knockoff games, but then whoever chipped it did a bad job because then it just felt like nothing worked. And then PS2 came out, so I was just like. Eh. 
Yeah. Just go and buy the world's most expensive DVD player. That's basically what it was at the time, right? Um, yeah. Still a really good console. Um, PS3. I still got that. It's Mine's jailbroken, so I can't get on the internet, but it's broken. I could pretty much make copies of games and all that stuff and put it on there, but it was it was bought specifically. Well, it was jailbroken specifically for the college football revamped game when they jailbroke that. So it wasn't nothing nefarious. I just was going to play college football. There was hell or high water. Um, but yeah, um, I imagine I mean, that's really popular in America, like video game wise, the college because obviously that's it's not you, you probably can't even buy it here. Yeah, I mean it's kind of like so. For example, I, I'll go cricket twenty four. For example, I had to buy a digital copy of it i couldn't buy the actual i couldn't find the disc anywhere right it's the same thing um i guess i could have bought it from australia but i would have paid away more than digital you know our feelings about digital but it is what it is so but yeah it's it's the same way i'm sure, yeah i mean the, the new game that's coming out has got a lot of hype with it and I guess Chris Fowler just came out and said he 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 was watching part of the the video game and there was like an opening oh, brain oh. touchdown and he was like I didn't like the way the audio sounded so we redid the audio so there's a lot of hype with it we'll see how it turns out but go ahead um I'm trying Coventry to have scored up. so that is uh, not ideal no. they're in seventh oh. place currently in the championship they are they and they're who are they currently playing. They're currently playing the team that I was hoping would win. It's not Southampton. No, uh, they're playing Leeds. Oh, my bad. Sorry. No, no. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. There's still time to overturn it. I hope. So, I suppose. Uh, be really disappointing considering how the uh, lunchtime game went. Uh, hello, Russ. How are you doing? Uh... So yeah, that could have gone worse. But uh, could have gone Since it's just us, and you know, we do care about football, but we're also kind of like, eh. um. So last night's Raw, a uh, SmackDown was taped Tuesday, right? Or was that actual live event? No, I feel it was live because mm. they do the Hall of Fame at the same time. Because they used to do the Hall of Fame on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Before it became obviously a two day two day event, so that fit in somewhere, and uh, they've gone with this really bad idea, in my opinion, of like you go do your SmackDown show, and then you're gonna put you basically then take all the ring ropes off, put loads of chairs behind, the, move everyone to the other side, something like this, and then they do their Hall of Fame thing, which is fine, but it finished like six a.m. So Which that, I imagine even in America, that's pretty late. Yeah. Yeah, about 1 a.m. I mean, people are really just dying. Yeah, I mean, it gets a point. As much as you love a sport or whatever, there's a time you're like, all right, it, enough's enough at this point. You. I mean, I'll tell you, I'll give you an example, and Alonzo would love this example. NASCAR, for example, like I guess they're at Martinsville this weekend. They used to do 500 laps there. Well, they decided to shorten it to 400. You're like... But it's only it's only a half mile track, so like it takes fifteen seconds to get around the track. So yeah. it's not long. But after a while, it's like I've been to all races and you're like, all right, it's three twenty three. Holy crap, we're gonna be here forever. <laughs> so um, I get it. You, I imagine you just going, hmm, 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 yeah. Hmm. And after a while, it just becomes one loud hum in your ear. So yeah, a blur. Let's just say, yeah, because they're just. I imagine they're moving rather fast. Uh, same with Formula One. I mean, yeah. again, Formula One's really good. And then you, ultimately, it's like, okay. So I'm just Formula One's start is one of the best in the world. Formula One easily has the best start. And then after like two laps, you're like, okay. Um, this is going to be fun. I still like watching it. Don't get me wrong. but Because I like okay, the fact so you have a time what limit. What time do you think they're going to finish, everyone? I'll be back for that. So the thing I love about Formula One is they have that time limit, right? No more than three hours for a race, I think, is the, is the rule or something. Okay. So that's something. I mean, NASCAR can go four or five hours. So love to Alonzo for watching it, but some days I just can't watch it. So I know that they've got like the 24 hour Le Mans, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the 24 hour thing and all that. And I get that that's more the endurance of it. Yeah. But still, ultimately, 
it still feels like the sort of thing where the entertainment comes from the start of it and who wins at the end and sort of the destination or whatever uh, what's the word the destination you know. is more important than the journey at, at, for, yeah, for the fans. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly. In the middle, you just like, oh, okay. One of them going round and they're all going round and doing their thing. But anyway, so come on now. Just I'll give you a fun game. I know you're big into football manager, so management yeah. sims. The F1 manager is a fun game. I heard it's really good. But... It, it It's excellent. So it's, it's not – so like you know how football manager tries to show you on the pitch like – it's kind of borderline poor what they're showing you. F1 manager does a really good job of making it almost like a TV telecast. So, and it's oh, on it's sale cool. right now. Yeah. Oh, football manager is it, it's outrageous how they've got away with it for so long in yeah. terms of like, because it's basically the same as it was 20 years ago. And, and they could go, oh, we updated the graphics and all that. It's like, no, but most people still ultimately will choose to have the dots running around the field. Cause the graphics are subpar. I completely understand it. It's yeah, but no, no scores right now in the Premier League. Um, <clears throat> we saw a a Bournemouth chance on Luton, but that was really it. Um, it was a good one uh, scoop you guys had last night. I got a chance to watch the second half, but it was a good show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, admittedly, um, it's like an open secret that usually the second half of the show I'm. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the politest way to say it is that I have half an eye on SmackDown because of the obviously we all love Lee show. Because, you know, I want to cut, cut the timing after I spend actually uh, like working on it. So I like do it at the same time. But anyway, um, yeah, no, no, no. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the discussion last night. It was, it was uh, interesting. There's some interesting insights from the fellow American fans and their perspective on the sport that we all follow, I suppose. That's the way to put it. Um, I did find it funny when uh, I think Havertz was getting a... He was getting some attention in the chat and I was sat there like, don't poke Spencer. You're poking his boy. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Funny. I didn't even tell him. I didn't even tell him to do it. It's all good. I telepathically did. I was like, let's see what happens. Um, people people hate greatness. That's what it is. They hate Roman Reigns. They hate Kai Havertz. They really should. They really should. Uh, um, I was watching some. Uh, but in the other wrestling channel, uh, what is it? Top rope turn, but I don't even know the name of their show. Just nice that Jonesy guy. Mm-hmm. I enjoy it, but um. He, uh, they were saying that uh, if uh, Roman Reigns won some other night, they would go out, they'd stab someone, basically, is what they were saying, like, basically. And uh, I, I couldn't help myself. I was like, if you actually did that and then you went to prison, by the time you got out, Roman Reigns would still be the champion. <laughs> and you'd probably try and go back inside to avoid it. I've got theories for tonight. Um, like I definitely think Rock and Roman win tonight, and then without question, they're not losing twice. Priest is cashing in somewhere on somebody. I still think they don't know what to do with him. I think there's no plan. Well, I don't say he's going to be like, successful no. with it, but yeah, I think the only actual plan they have for that guy is, um, that. They are that judgment day is not long for this world, just to say that iteration of it. Hence, why I didn't pick them to win the tag team match. I I wasn't about to say no one picked them to win, but it's actually not true. There was someone who picked them to win, but um, yeah, but yeah, uh, uh, of course, a lot of the picks are similar, but there are some differences that will make it interesting. But saying that, uh at half past five, so in two, in just over two hours, I'll be doing the world's most pointless stream, where basically I'm going to sit and watch NXT while I think Tony's going to join me because he must hate Arsenal. But obviously it goes on at the same time as Arsenal. Therefore, well, Tony went to me, it was something along the lines of, Tom, 
but NXT is our baby, Tom. He didn't say baby, but that's what he meant. Uh, like, it was the first show we watched. It's true. The first episode of Full Nelson was an NXT watch along. Uh, their Vengeance Day 2023. And yeah, that is true, Ross. Uh, from my word. Um, mm. Hey, Ty, how are you doing? Uh, they, um, and he was like, oh, but because it was our first one, we should watch them all. And I was like, yeah, that's great, Tony. So when Arsenal were playing at the same time, you go watch it too. In fairness to him, it's very rare that Arsenal... Damn. The inbred derby. It's true. It's true. It's a fair point. Uh, I'll ask him when he pops up. Uh, interesting don't comment. Fair, don't expect to see him. Oh, no, that is how that derby, that particular derby is seen down in old Suffolk and Norfolk. But anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll see uh, if he shows up for it. I mean, I'll shower him if he doesn't. Because if you don't, don't, you don't get through to him. Anyway. Well. So the only game I can see right now is Call it Cardiff and Hull City. Is that on ESPN Plus? Yeah. That's, that carries championship game. One championship game, right? Exactly. This is the best way I can put it. It is the Alabama of the United States. Or the <laughs> Alabama of England. It's farmer country, basically. Is that where your military is at? There is a military base in Ipswich, I believe. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. But there's also a lot of cousins that are married to each other. <laughs> I don't uh, know if that's true. But the perception of it that means it doesn't actually matter. There you go. Here we go. Russ Morgan, not not a beating around the bush, as we say. Just straight in there with enough because it is trouble. <laughs> Good old Russ. I can always trust Russ to throw a... Uh, Throw some petrol on the fire. But, uh, yeah, so let's have a look in, in the Germany. Bayern Munich have scored twice, but Bayer Leverkusen are winning. Surprise, surprise. They scored in the 45th plus 8th minute with a penalty. Mm. And Union Berlin had a player sent off. Not not um, not Brendan Aronson, because uh, I was about mm. to say he's not good enough to start. They're playing him up front. Which probably explains why they're losing one nil. I'm saying that my team are losing one nil, so I can't really say much, can I? I'm fr- I'm I'm in a lovely glass house with my stones. No, nah, you're fine. Throw throw the stones away. I'm a stone thrower. I must admit. Uh, so, uh, and I guess who scored for Bayern Munich? Yes. Both, both former Arsenal players. Well, Harry Kane was in the Arsenal youth team, wasn't he? Or well, as a kid. Anyway, so yeah, it was him and Serge Gnabry. Yeah, but uh, you know, you know, there were. So as it stands, there'll be a what thirteen point gap with six games left. He does shy away from the good comments. Although, he probably has the common sense to do so, but he does often make the mistake of uh, reading the comment out loud before actually yeah. going, should I say this? Whereas oh, I'll just yeah. see it and go, yeah, I'm just going to read it. But I'm fully aware of what I'm reading. Gary is not, but he'll read it and then regret it halfway through. I think he does it for the, for the fun of it. I think he knows what he's doing. Which is a, uh, it's where the comedy lies. To be fair to him, he's like Ron Burgundy. Yeah, I'm you read Ron it, Burgundy. Like... Uh... 
Good evening, San Diego. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I believe it's the line. Mm-hmm. And then I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> I enjoyed that film. My parents think it's the worst film in the world ever. Did not nah, like it. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's an acquired taste though, I've discovered. Yeah. You have to be able to be able to laugh and have fun in life to like that movie. But if you're constantly serious, you're not going to like the movie. You know what it is as well? is A lot of people don't like Will Ferrell mm -hmm. other than when he plays Buddy from Elf. Yeah. There are people that just don't like him being anything else. Yeah. And I think it's probably the residual from them finding out that he turned down doing Elf 2. I, I mean, is that... He got offered an astronomical amount of money to do it. He should have done it. I think he, I think, obviously, I don't know him. I'm not on his Christmas card list, although I should yeah. be. He, I get the impression that because it's such a staple of Christmas, he'll think like doing a second one will ruin the first one. There is some truth to that sometimes. I do feel like, yeah. I mean, Home Alone 1 and 2 was good. Christmas Vacation 2 was trash. Christmas Story 2 was trash, right? You know, so... Home Alone can... 2 is fascinating, though, because yeah. I can tell you exactly how that was pitched. They went in the meeting, and they went, I'm going to make a second Home Alone movie. And they're like, what What elaborate plan are you going to come out with? Oh, no, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take all the story plot points from the first movie and just do them in different location. So yep. give us a little bit more money so we can film in New York. Got your movie. Yep, got Donald also, Trump to show like, up. Yeah, I mean, they do have a deleted scene where it was revealed that uh, Marvin, Marv, I believe it is, mm -hmm. the, one who, the one who's played by Daniel Stern is revealed to be immortal because no matter what Kevin McAllister does to him, he can't die. But they took that out because they thought that'd be a bit too weird for the children. They wouldn't fully get it, and they'd be like just throw more paint cans in. Yep. I mean, even higher height. But that could that is that should realistically only be the only explanation yeah. of how he survived it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, My favorite is like is not a murderer. Sorry. I love favorites when they do the shows and they're like, "Well, could you survive this? Like, who cares? It's a movie." Unless you're doing it so people don't actually go out and think, hey, I can throw a paint can and you'll survive. <laughs> like, I think the problem with that is, though, there would have been people that saw that and gone, because so. it's kids. They put, they'd think, oh, I could do it. We put warning labels on stuff, right? That's true. There's a reason why we put them on there. So That's a reason why I've seen memes where they basically have the, you know, like the no smoking sign, but mm -hmm. they've got a penis in the picture. And it slapped onto a uh, hand dryer. <laughs> I get it. One of the air ones, which is like lower, and you can dip your hand. Basically, it's obviously low enough that there was a reason they needed to do that. Because <laughs> someone out there needed to be told, <laughs> you probably shouldn't do what you're in naturally inclined to consider doing. I wonder who walked in on that and was like, no. No, you shouldn't do that. They walked in on it being burned off because obviously that air is really hot at that close quarters. And if it gets burned off, you deserved it at that point. Uh, I 100% agree. Christmas Vacation 2, is that the one where, I'm guessing you mean, is that yes. the one where Cousin Eddie goes to Hawaii? I've never seen it. Yes, it's horrific. You'll want the 90 minutes back you watched it. I didn't finish it, actually. I, hear, I see the words Christmas and vacate, right, and I get, obviously, it's a family going on holiday. I've never seen the first one either. It's mm. National Lampoon, is that? Yeah. Right. So, but I hear the words goes to Hawaii and automatically think this is like the, se the eighth season of Friends where, like, they're running out of ideas and they're like, Sh quick, shit, go to a really hot place on location. That's it. The first one's good. I mean... I'm surprised you haven't seen it, but I think we've already had this conversation. Um, but yeah, the second one is just almost like 
it, it's a movie they sell. Remember the four pack movies they put together where like a couple of them are good, but a couple of them are like, look, we'll never sell this anywhere, but this is how we get residuals. Um, yeah. That's where that movie belongs on a four pack DVD for nine 99. Eric Idol's in it for 30 seconds. <laughs> Only redeeming feature. Wow. Yeah. Oh, there's another goal in the championship. It's Leicester. So Leicester are going to go top. There's Basically, a penalty in the Wolves game. She's heading for a disastrous afternoon at the moment. Although there's nothing going on actually, in the I won't actually have the time to be like uh, ultra fucked off about it. Well, I will, but I have the time to actually show it because Tony know, might give you shit. Straight, straight in the wrestling. Yeah, it's true. Um, like you said, Walt Penalty or Wolves game, did you say? Yeah. It's it's nil nil across the board in the Premier League. Like it's yeah. Um That's why we're talking about Christmas films, I imagine. Yeah, I mean it, it, there's not much going on. I the game that's on Peacock and the Goal Rush is on YouTube TV too. So I'd have to put up a significantly different game. So I've got Cardiff and Hull City on right now, which is a barn burner. Um, Hello, everyone. Nil, nil. What's up, Ryan? Um, yeah. But if yeah, you could, you could, Tony could, could push the buttons today. He could. He's a button pusher. Uh, he, he, he is. is. He certainly is, but I'll just dump him out. So. Tony goes in the elevators and presses all the buttons at once. It's a, it's a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's that person. Um, he's the sort of person who's like, I can't believe you shouted at me. And it's like, I can't believe you did the thing I told you not to 46 times. Yeah. Um, what is it with Ipswich struggling against Norwich? I'm shocked that match has still ended because I figured the match will continue until it's really scored. The ref must have just decided there. Uh... But it doesn't matter because Ipswich have lost and we ain't taking advantage of it. So whatever at this stage, isn't it? Uh, don't look like we're going to anyway. Uh, it, it, it looks like we've got all the ball and we're doing nothing with it. And then as soon as... Uh, as soon as... Uh, pardon my, uh, my fault. Uh, as soon as Coventry get the ball, they seem to just head straight for our goal. They seem to be a. That's the impression I'm getting. But anyway. Um, and I thought that, yeah. yeah. But that being said, uh, goals are now coming. Leicester have scored. West Brom have scored at Stoke. Uh, Hull have scored at Cardiff. So, sorry, Brownie. Oh, Brownie wanted me to tell everyone that uh, he, I believe he received a three-month ban on YouTube the day before his previous three-month ban expired. Like the warning for it or something like that. So, there is that. Admittedly, I don't know what he's done. But I'm pretty sure when I find out, it'll be, well, yeah, that'll get you banned, Brownie. So, what's he going to do in the meantime? There's a goal in the Wolves game. Wolves scored 1-0. They scored a penalty. Yeah. yeah. That sounds right. It's greatest league in the world. One goal in the first 35 minutes of the 3 o'clock kickoffs, and it was a penalty. Yeah. He never learns. Mm. Learned, so, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's a penalty. Whatever. I don't even know what the penalty is anymore. Uh, 
Oh no, Shanghai Paul FC did not get a win yesterday. They drew. That's a shame. That's a shame. In the Chinese Super League. He should have been banned after streaming himself sleeping for 12 hours. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a thing. It's still there. Like, if you find it, it's now. He falls asleep on stream and it just goes up. It, because obviously it hit the YouTube limit or whatever it was. I'm just, uh, I still don't know how he got himself banned. I don't know if you've been around him for any more than like 62 minutes, you can fully believe that he'll get banned. He done a video the other day on the Arsenal, um, what's the word, the Emma Hayes situation. Mm hmm. And let's just say he, uh, I think he thinks he's being diplomatic about it, but he's brownie in it. So, well, I, I, I do one. agree with him to some degree. Yeah. I can imagine what the opinion was because I probably shared it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, he wasn't wrong. It was a, uh, but in his, uh, I say I say that like that's why he got banned. It's not. I don't no. know. No. But yeah. Because exactly. there's far more risque stuff on the internet. Yeah. That gets like it's completely... always something, it's always the least innocuous thing of all the of all the, the uh what's the word? All the controversial things you do, it'll always be the thing that you don't think will get you in trouble. It'll be it'll be like the copyright when someone's phone goes off in the background and the music plays. That would be what gets you. Yeah, I've gotten a few copyrights for playing video games, but they never... It just gets copyrights in, like, Russia and Belarus. Like, that's okay, I guess. I'm not going there ever. I got one for... On the wrestling show, we, we played... Vid I was experimenting with, like, doing video clips. I'd, I'd play it, I'd mute it so there was no sound. But basically, dub Sony in Russia, or whoever it is that had the rights for WWE in Russia, uh, sorry, Russia, Bhutan, Nepal, but eight different countries in that region of the world, that episode is blocked and banned. So, that's why I don't, uh, yeah. I mean, I was, I was fascinated by it because I was like, well, so the channel's not in trouble then? Because it's not like a copy. It made the point of this is not a copyright strike, but you are banned in Russia. Being banned in Russia isn't the worst thing, I guess. But uh... well, no, sorry, I've told that wrong. The episode is banned in Russia. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that the channel will still be available there. Although the irony is, I bet any no one from those countries even saw it. Yeah, that's. I mean, unless there was like that one guy that was like, "I've got to, I've got to like mark four or five copyright claims today. This is the one I'm going to mark today." He's like, it's like a cop having a quota. But we got a goal. Villa have scored. Ollie Watkins. It looks like. Oh, so Ollie Watkins is fit again then. Yep. I know that was a conversation point yesterday. Yes. So, uh, yeah. It would be a lot cooler if we punished Ipswich's defeat, but... Even well, if you pick up a point, if you get a draw, that would put you level with them, right? Yeah, and we've got the goal difference on them. So, uh, we'd go second. I mean... Still, though, I mean, it goes without saying, of course, I'd rather just score two goals and win this game. But I get the feeling now that Coventry have got the goal, they're just they're going to batten down the attitudes to some degree and just try and hit us on the break, which, again, is perfectly within their right to do it, obviously. Um, I'm never going to complain about a team trying to beat Leeds. I just get annoyed when I feel like they won't do the same thing when they play the team after us. I know that's just football, but, it, you know, 
It's an annoying feeling. I got a buddy that gets really irritated about that. He's a Liverpool fan, and I'm like, it's like man. Yeah, my thing for that is you're Liverpool. Everyone's gonna try hard against you because you're a big team. And if they don't, you, you'll get they'll get smashed. Yeah, he's he's like he's like he, they should ban that. I mean, he just he's too funny, but he should, they should ban that. I was like, I said, I said, Robin, dude, like either you're good enough to break down the team or you're not. I was like, if some team goes against Arsenal, I don't care because that's if not, they could, like you said, they're going to get opened up like a can of worms. Like that's it'd be foolish to set your team up in that way too, especially when goal difference matters to staying up. They could. You know- the big example of this, the best example of this, and like, is when Arsenal played Newcastle at the Emirates last season, and it finished nil nil. And a certain podcast, um, we'll, we'll we won't name names, but we'll call it the uh, Mister A podcast. No, wait, no, that's too obvious. Um, we'll call it uh, the the Mister Arsenal P. Yeah, that show. Um, they. There was a lot of saltiness over the fact that Newcastle turned up to get the nil-nil draw, which they got. And I'm sitting there, I'm just reading it, obviously, and I'm like, but what were they meant to do? If they played in a way that suited you to win, you'd win. Yeah. They don't have the divine right to play in a way that makes it easier for Arsenal to win. Sometimes those are some of the most entertaining games too, because you want to see the skill. Do you have the skill to break down the the low block? Right. I, I mean, I like the tactical aspects of the game, and if you don't have a good enough team that can, they don't have the speed or the pace to match what you're playing against. You, you're under <clears throat> it's your due diligence to set up the best way possible. It's it's like in the NFL, and I told Robin this. I was like, well, let's just remove the safeties from the game and let the offense have eleven players versus nine. That way it's more entertaining for you. You don't have to stress so hard. I mean, he thought it was stupid, but I mean, that's my argument, my counter argument about it. It's like, I mean, what do you expect, man? I mean, if you're if you're a club that's newly promoted, honestly, you should be setting up on the road that way, bare minimum, right? And then having goes at home. I mean, that's, it, yeah. that's just what you that's that's what you expect. And if you're good enough. And you're on a hundred grand a week, you should be able to figure out a way to find the space to get through. That's always going to be my arguing against it. Ar- Arsenal won an FA Cup that way. They beat Man City in the semifinals. I think with 19% possession or something. It was something horrific with David Luiz and Mustafi. So yeah. But it's uh I'm, I got the Everton Burnley game on now because I forgot this Salsi game was on. And uh, it's nil nil. I guess my point is, is that it's not an irrational. It's an irrational opinion on football that everyone seems to have when it suits them. It's easy to laugh at me when I say it about championship clubs playing up because they're playing against Leeds and they're usually on TV and they've got big crowds in because Leeds are in town, like. But and you can say it sounds really silly, but then I can go, well, what about the time you fought Newcastle? We're just going to turn up and let you win. Every team has, everyone has a similar opinion, but it's only it's not irrational when you feel it. I mean, you can go to every league. There's going to be a team yeah. that gets that treatment all the way up yeah. through National League, all the way up through. Um, yeah, I mean, but that's what we do in life. We find arguments that suit our opinions. We're all guilty of it. It's easier to do that. Yeah. No, I imagine you're right. I imagine, dare I say, like Leicester, not Leicester, what are their names? Wrexham have probably had that treatment for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to make Ryan Reynolds upset and the other one. Salford City the same way. Well, yeah, but I still love that Gary Neville one the one the owners of Salford and Sky commentator for Man United player etc was like oh, I think managers there should be minimum like you can't sack a manager within two years of his contract and then literally sacked uh, a manager for Salford five days after he won the Johnston's paint trophy. But so it was okay when you do it, Gary. 
when you're yep. the owner, you knob. Well, like people say, I think the tax laws should be harder, but then they find a way to get around the tax laws. So, because because as soon as like the government, so I not get political on this, the government go, I think you should pay the tax that you uh, should rightfully pay. And they'll go, all right, but then I'll move my business out to India. And then like, oh no, because we kind of want the tax from your staff more than we actually want the tax from you. Mm -hmm. Even though your tax will actually pay more than staff, probably. But really, you can have both, but I don't know. I don't know. The important thing here, though, to remember is that Leighton Orient are winning 2 0 against Cheltenham Town. This is Birmingham a... have scored at Leicester, so that's quite handy. It's a pretty boring 10 o'clock window compared to last week's. Yeah, <laughs> so many goals last week. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know what's going on down at the Coventry Building Society Arena or whatever it is they now call it. But um I don't know, not impressed. I'm not impressed and I feel somehow Patrick Bamford's at fault. I have nothing to base that on at all. But saying that. Everton have scored against Burnley. Yep. I was looking at the Everton, uh, the Leeds Coventry stats, and you said it. I looked up, and of course, they were celebrating. That would put Everton at 29 points. It'd be nice if Burnley could come back and win this because, just obviously, because. Uh, don't really want to see Everton in the Premier League. Um, and it's such a bullshit way they scored. Um, the keeper's getting ready to kick the ball, and Calvert Lewin basically blocks it. It's the cheapest goal you'll ever see anybody get. The least amount of effort on the face of it. It'll go down. If there were, if they still made Follies tapes, Murrick would be right in it right now. It's so bad, he should be demoted to a League One keeper immediately. Hello to Stefan. You'll be pleased to know we are not punishing you for your defeat currently, so it could be worse for you. But of course, hello. Um, Birmingham are of scored, yes, Stansfield, so... The table currently stands, it's which are still top. Football with Brownie has made it into the chat. We was discussing what you had done. Yeah, what did you what'd you do? We want to know. Like this is interesting. Of course we are. Of course we're busting your acker. We are the acker busters. In, f in fact, I'm now prepared to fully blame Brownie for putting leads on his acker. You made it sound like it was a three month ban, a fourteen day ban. That's yeah. Uh, no, the the actual words he used, to be fair, was three month warning. And then when his last three month on the day when his last three month warning was finishing the next day. And yeah, he did say, no, to be fair, it, it does actually say banned for two weeks. I forgot that part. To be fair to him. But then it follows up with three month warning when his three month warning was finishing the next day. That that has that has big that has big vibes to it of you know in a character uh in a in a movie or something when the best the char the main character's best friend goes I got one day until retirement 
Oh, look, who's that suspicious looking waiter? Who's a suspicious looking Spanish waiter in a Chinese restaurant? Hmm. Could it be the villain's henchman? Well, I'm just going to stand like this without a bulletproof vest just so you can get shot and then go, oh, Mendoza, he had one day until retirement. Where he's going to go, he's, he's already showed you his family. Um, showed you his family, his kids in the what? Got to do the photo where like he pulls his wallet out and goes, that's my wife and kids. Classic, classic stuff. I got that vibe to it. Brownie was getting ready to come off warning tomorrow. And then YouTuber like, we've got you on the taxes, mate. Here we go. It was posting about a lady footballer punched another player. Facebook allowed it, yet YouTube didn't. So the post is still up on the Facebook page for now. Facebook app. Facebook have a habit of getting you for things you did three years ago. They'll decide on that day it was a crime in the past. That being said, we are rolling into half time, of course. And the half time are as follows in the championship Blackburn nil, Southampton nil, Cardiff nil, Hull two. Sorry, Brownie. Coventry one, Leeds United nil. Huddersfield nil, Millwall nil, Leicester one, Birmingham one, Middlesbrough one, Swansea nil, Queens Park Rangers nil, Sheffield Wednesday nil, Stoke City nil, West Bromwich Albion one, Sunderland and Bristol City are nil nil, and Watford and Preston nil nil. However, in the Premier League, Wolves one nil up against West Ham United, Luton and Bournemouth plan out nil nil draw. Fulham nil, Newcastle nil. Everton one up against Burnley and Aston Villa one up against Brentford. Stefan thinks it's which need a three month ban after that performance. And fake book are normally hot on nonsense. Certainly is. Certainly is. I was getting ready to get paid again by YouTube from tomorrow. And now they've put another free month no pay. But it's almost like they just don't want to pay you, Brownie. So they're just like, no, no. You just get him on something. Well, I put a photo about a lady footballer or whatever. Just just take his money away for three months. It, they're basically saying, Brownie, you're banned from YouTube for 14 days. Oh, sorry, you're banned from YouTube. You, your children, your children's children, your children's children, children for 14 days. Yeah, they just don't want to pay you, Brownie. That's what it is. You really didn't do anything wrong. They just don't want to pay you. All the residuals from the sleeping video. YouTube is the new DHSS. Averaging what fifteen one hundred fifty thousand views per day at naught point naught one p per view. I was hoping the bank manager would start getting happy again. So uh, let me get my calculator out because despite being my job. I'm just thinking, it's sad, I'm lazy. So. So the top... you fit £1,500? Pound? <laughs> okay. Sorry, what did you just say, Spencer? Sorry, sorry. I told her, he was saying... One pence per view... Hmm. I can't even get 10 views. Whatever. Um, I've noticed the top five scorers with Premier League, they just had the stat up, and Ollie Watkins on 17, he's number two, and then Cole Palmer on 16, and Solenke on 16. Very interesting who the top scorers are, vice who the, the natural suspects are, right? 
son he is. However, cool. So, sorry, I was when you were saying about views, I was looking at my. We'll see how we did on Thursday night. Surprisingly well. Surprisingly well. So, um, yeah, I, I spent yesterday setting up multiple stream after multiple stream, and I just sat there like, oh man, I can't believe I've actually got to sit here and do this. But suffer for our craft. That's why YouTube didn't want to pay me, the bastards. They were being cheap. I mean, the Gestapo are going to be looking at this and going, oh, Brownie didn't praise us. He didn't praise us. He didn't praise the system. Thanks for making me smile again, because I was grumpy as fuck. I don't know how I'm going to be if Leeds don't turn this around. Well, I probably won't have time to be, as I said, won't have time to be anything. Because in about an hour and a half, I'll be like, hello, welcome to the Full Nelson episode 95 or 96, whatever, I've lost count. And then, um, blah, 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 NXT, and you're watching Arsenal anyway. But, there's a course you're watching Arsenal. I wouldn't expect you to watch anything else. But the point is, I mean, the real punishment is if Tony turns up, as much as I love Tony. I don't know. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, he's a character. Better hope Leeds turns it around because if not, he's just going to be like. He won't even know. He doesn't. He doesn't even know how Leeds get on. You're you're giving him far too much credit to think that he checks football outside of Arsenal. That is true. Probably. I'm actually, I'm actually surprised that you thought he would know these things. Um, that's why I don't put out writing on YouTube anymore. I have to work my bollocks off to write and I get fuck all off YouTube. Yeah, fucking right. And oh, poor Tony. <laughs> In fairness to him, at least I say this on a live stream where he he f technically can see it. He won't because, again, he doesn't put in. He'll watch you unless he's on the stream. He don't watch the stream. So what will happen is Stefan will hop into the yeah. to the chat and be like, Tom, how would Leeds get on today? You got a half. You might come back. You know? To which I'll turn around and go, we did about as well as Ipswich currently. Which, which is at currently is factually true. But, you know, I, you know what I mean. I, obviously, despite what I say about my hatred of Ipswich, the most ideal situation would obviously be a lead 1-2 with Ipswich and Leicester not go up because it'd be hilarious. Well, we can do a fun exercise if you want on this one. How about this? So let's, let's live in that world of Leeds and Ipswich both go up. Who would be the third team you would prefer to be the partner on the way up? I actually think it will be Norwich because mm. because they've hit the momentum at the right time of the season. When Le Leeds played them twice and we beat them twice, mm -hmm. but it's irrelevant in the playoffs. Right. Um, yeah. They're a team no one will want to play. I don't think I'd want to see Leicester, Southampton, or West Brom come back up. I always found more the same. I always found Southampton just some of the most boring games. They, they, I do something funny about them. This is true. In January, they've got a Twitter account called Saint Saint Statistics, where mm -hmm. obviously it, it, what it says on the tin, it's. Southampton stats, but they basically made a post. It like this was in January for context, and they did the post where they put up Southampton's points, Leicester's points, Ipswich's points, and they had an I can quote. They wrote with Leeds out of the picture, mm. and then about a month later, when Leeds were above Southampton in the table, 
it was like you can imagine what happened. Everyone, all, every, all Leeds fans, just piling on this. Like out of the picture, are we? Out of the picture. Yeah. Wait, especially a couple of weeks ago when we hit the top of the table. Like, oh, oh, must be a shit picture if we're out of it. I mean, here's another one. Look at Chelsea. They could potentially make it into the to the European spots. You know. Mm-hmm. And we've been joking they, them they all won't. year. They won't because the only way they'll make it into the Europe is if they play the big six every week until the season ends because they only really play up for them for some reason. Yeah. Because obviously when they play the teams below and around them, they don't do very well. That's not even really my opinion. That's why That's why they are in, uh, what, 11th, whatever it is. 10th. Yeah, why else would you be there? If you're getting, if you get, if you're beating Man United and you're getting points off Man City and top, and you're, and you're winning like four, five, one at Tottenham, and you're tenth, then who aren't you beating? Yeah, Table I mean, doesn't lie. Got Apart stuffed by Brentford, and it lies a lot. Got beat by West Ham. Yeah. Wolves they are the too. definition of inconsistent, it, uh, Chelsea, because if you're beating the big teams and then you're not beating the other teams, you're tenth. If you win half your games, you're probably going to finish tenth. Yeah. That being said, uh, hopefully we'll be just coming out of half time, and it would be nice if we could like actually make some something happen. Bayern Munich are now not winning. That's so sad. Oh yeah, I'm 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 crushed by it, but just surprised that FC Heidenheim, which is a name I could not say if I was drunk, but um, <laughs> have scored two goals in a minute, fiftieth and fifty-one. Yeah, just good to see them coming into. The first leg of the Champions League uh, on a on a good note, Byron, that is. Yeah. Uh, Union Berlin have decided they don't want to beat Bayer Leverkusen today because they've made their, they've made four of their subs and Brendan Aronson's still on the pitch. So they've decided they don't want the points. They're just trying to stay up. I, I like how they took their Champions League revenue and were like, we'll give some of it to Brendan Aronson. <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we're obviously <laughs> not going to try and convert it into points. Yeah. Um, so we started, game started back up here. Um, Villa and Brentford are back playing. Uh, Everton won, Burnley nil, and Villa have just scored. To go up 2 0. Rogers with the shot at the 18. Uh, and that should be potentially all three points for Villa. Although 2 0 is the most dangerous league in uh, leading football. But I, Everton are up 1 0. That's my favorite cliche because it's not true. Yeah. Because uh, obviously 1 0 is the most dangerous leading football because it's half of what people say is the most dangerous leading football. Literally half. I think the reason is they think they'll switch off. Oh, it's a momentum but, thing. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Like you, because then you're more likely to turn two one into two two. Yeah. But you're more equally as likely to turn one nil into one one. <laughs> just and, and you go back to Sunday with Arsenal. Arsenal were nil nil. If City had gone up one nil, that would have felt like a three or four nil deficit, considering where you were. Like, on the Arsenal fan circle, there were I opened a can of worms because I think it, I think it was Ray. If it, it won't matter if I'm turns out I'm wrong, but um, he said something like, 
feels like a Bami Yang had the defender in his pocket. And I was like, wait, what? I call shitstorm in the comments because I was like, what? Um, a striker can't have a defender in his pocket. That's not how it works. It's not how the language works. Like, defender can pocket the striker because it's his job to stop the striker. The, the, the striker doesn't have to stop the defender doing anything. He just, his job's to score. Yeah. It's a weird play on words. Yeah, to which Ray got... Because <laughs> I kept pushing it, Ray turned around and went, Tom, you didn't invent football. Which uh, which to me was like, it was the holy ground. Because I was like, the fact you have to say that really means that indirectly you think I think I invented football. <laughs> which I did. It was amazing. I loved it. So the other two scores... Fulham and Newcastle are nil nil, and Luton, Bournemouth nil nil. Wolves won, West Ham nil. Look who has showed up in the comment section, Mister Tony Tan. Oh my God, he's alive. Slash awake. Good morning, Tony. So Tony, do you want the link to join now? You can actually join the road trip for the first time ever. We should do this. We should totally do it. We're not really going by script anyway, so we might as well bring the guy that doesn't go by script in. It's your call, Tom. Blit, not all, yeah, I mean... Blink I'm twice if you want to come gonna, in. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I'm not going to send him the link. Just rat, Oh, Morgan. Morgan wants in as well. But, but just to let you know, I'm disappearing at five to like put on my um, I have to put my phone charge and stuff like that. Cause I, but anyway, any, anyway, I it should be self-explanatory, but yeah, I'll do it anyway. Um, I'll disappear at noon too because I got to eat lunch. I haven't eaten anything yet today. Come on, come on, have a look at this. Come I know. On. What? But yeah, all right. Give me a second, gentlemen. Gary's going to be so upset when he finds out that we had Tony on the road trip. <laughs> And he will find out because I'll tell him. Actually, he watches. I know he watches the show. I think he was up early this morning, wasn't he? Because he was in the Mr. Oh. Arsenal chat talking about City. That'd be 4 30 in the morning his time. I figured he would be here then. All right, but I have sent you all the night one. Did I send it to you as well? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I did send you a link for night one. I tried to get out in front of everything because I want to have less to do later. Because I'm already going to have to try and calculate the maths on the fly. And um, get yeah. get those out, get the picks out for in that couple of hour window in between NXT. And, and I've got to go and get some food as well. Cause, uh, so what's on the uh, docket for food today? I have, I have no idea because I'll be mm. eating far later than I usually will. But look who it is. Look what the cat Will you sneak in your pork balls, prawn balls? Are you on prawn balls since it's 40? I hope so. Well, no, I, I'll find it. It's either going to be that or like chicken wings or something like that. I might actually get the grilled chicken wings. But eating them is a nightmare on stream because then I have to basically I have to like disinfect the laptop. If you don't share your laptop, why would you clean it? Hi, Brownie. Well, it's a joke. It wasn't funny, but it was a joke. It's a, it's a, it's a joke relating to porn, isn't it? It was just a joke. No, I didn't take it that way. Well, that's that what she um, yeah, anyway, that's what I was going to say. A stream is never a stream without Tony Turner. Oh, look who it is. He's live from Slough. Slough. It's Russ Morgan. I am live from Slough. Slough. Oh, it's Slough. Not Slough. Good afternoon, Russ. Oh, look, somebody's uh, live webcam. Tony, how stoned are you? Tell me. Not at all yet. Not at all yet. I suppose it is a bit early. Oh, that gives me an idea. 
Got a lot of wrestling on today, Tony. Someone is stoned somewhere, though, Tony. What 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 gets me is I I watch it with pre show and they're like, oh, tonight. It's like you know what fucking things at noon. I I am absolutely zero percent stoned, though. But that can, from the train. that can change several times throughout the day. Gary, what do you think? Is Tony going to get stoned? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was. It was based in Slough. Word and Pog, I believe it was called. It'll be 420 in the United Kingdom in about nine, eight minutes, Tony. Yeah, the actual... The, the building's actually been knocked down now. I'm not surprised after David Brent was in it. Yeah, the one that was... You know, the face here in the credits in the beginning? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that was knocked down, God, about 10 years ago now. I love the office, personally. But, um, yeah, I used to work around the corner from it. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> Gary immediately sensed there was a tomfoolery going on. <laughs> Gary, yeah, there's all spidey senses going on. Well, we have to have someone in, in instead of Lord Greenwood. That's true. That's true. I'm um, unfortunately. Or Tony Tucker, or whoever. Sorry. Tony, Tony Tucker. What? Tony and, uh, Tucker's not here either. So. So yeah, obviously you gentlemen are going to be watching Arsenal, but uh, at six o'clock. So, but Tony, are you genuinely going to watch NXT? <coughs> Bournemouth uh, scored one 0 Bournemouth. If I'm watching the, if I'm watching the pre-show, Tom. No, I'm not gonna fucking watch it. I'm just gonna watch the pre-show. What time does this start, Tom? NXT. Uh, I'm starting stream at five thirty, but because I'm going to uh -huh. try and catch the first pre-show match. Well, that's um, when Arsenal three. starts, so I won't be. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But, what time does NXT I... finish? show? I mean, I might be able to pop on after. It's about nine p.m. Well, yeah. The so the Arsenal game finishes what half seven? Yeah. 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 I mean, roughly nine pit because NXT is yeah. probably a free match, a free hour show, probably. Hopefully, of course. Coventry have scored again. Lovely. It, it, just, it. it drives me that's Tom at it's eleven fourteen, but they're saying tonight. It's like you guys know it starts in less than an hour, or so. Night, you right. So, Tom, you've never seen Christmas Vacation? I've not. How the hell have you done that, Tom? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that Chevy, is Chevy Chase in it? Yeah. No, 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 I have seen. I've seen the main beats of it. Where right, I... so the, the first one's where they, they've got to go across America to Wally World or whatever it's called. It's Wally World. Yeah, then the second one's where they go to Europe. So that's when they they land in England and they see like. Um... I, I I didn't like the European too much. That there was some good spots in that, but a whole and whole. It, I think I changed the kids as actors. They, they weren't as good. Just... Yeah, but they had to change them in all the films, didn't they? Essentially. Yeah. Yeah, so in European vacation, they land, they like land in London, and it's got like loads of UK sort of actors in it. Is it like the episode of Friends where that's in London, and they just shoehorn loads of English actors into it? Like, yeah, it's basically yeah. So it's got like um, Mel Smith's in it, Robbie Coltrane, Maureen Lipman, Eric Idle's in it, and then Eric Idle reprises his role in Christmas Vacation Two for some unknown reason. Money. Probably. And then, then the third, yeah. So the third one's Christmas Vacation one. Okay. okay. And they, but they don't go anywhere. That's the thing. It's just. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll tell you something that's gonna. It actually won't sound like it means anything to you guys, but it makes me feel really stupid. Is that uh, in in what the thirteen months or so, fourteen months that I've been doing the wrestling pit competition. Shut up, Stefan. 
True. Um, Why is he all in English films and not Scottish films then? Hey, 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 hey. Only yesterday did I realise that I should actually just put the tweets in the drafts and then I could just change them easily at will. It took me 14 months to realise that. 14. So, so you're telling us you're going to start cheating, Tom? No, what I mean is in the drafts. Once they're out, they're out. That's it. But I'm just saying that it's a lot easier. Because, <laughs> like, for example, um, on last night's episode of The Stoop, uh, I'm sure Spencer, if he really thought about it or paid attention, he could have picked out the moment where I actually noticed that Dragon Lee was not going to be wrestling. And I was like, God damn it! And you were like, hey, Dragon Lee's not wrestling. Who do you want to pick? I'm like, well, of course the other guys now. What did I do? Did I switch? Yep. I woke Brentford up. Brentford have scored 2-1. Switch. Switch. Oh. switch. Uh, I, 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 stood, I stood firm, Tom. You did but Andrade is probably that. better. I've got my suspicions on what I think will actually happen. Yeah, same as me. But, you know. I, I, did, did, have you seen the clips of it, Tom? It looked like fucking Mysterio was out of a heart attack when Andrade. Oh, it's incredible. I'd, I'd, do you know what? Do, 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 I, I, may have, I may have implied this to... Um, Spencer, I'm I'm a uh, half I'm half convinced to ban Mexican wrestlers from the picking game because <laughs> they just keep fucking dropping out of the matches. Fucking Dragon Lee. Why, do, <clears throat> why didn't they pick another member of LWO? I assume Andrade's not in it. I think the story's actually going to be because Carlito has been passed over twice. He's got a heel turn coming in the future. I suspect. Maybe his tonight. Face, his face. <laughs> I think there's different he'll turn tonight. But his face when he realised that. Oh, when Ray was like, "I'm gonna pick the newest member of the LWO," and Carly, I was like, "Yeah, yeah, he's about to save me." And then he goes, "Dragon Lee's the newest member right now," and he's like, "What?" <clears throat> and then last night he's like, "Oh, Dragon Lee's hurt." It was probably by him, by the way. But um. So are we anyway, sure sorry, that's sorry. are we sure that's Carlito or is it David Luis? <laughs> <laughs> well, now you've speculated that. I'm not quite certain. Since David Luis is not playing, is he playing still in Brazil? He's actually got a new job as the ring announcer in NXT. There we go. <laughs> Brentford have tied it fun. up. Tom. Remember the comment earlier, 2-0 is the dangerous, most dangerous lead. Brentford have tied it up. Who scored? And Bueno. Yeah, you see, like, so everyone's going on about Ivan Tony, but I know, like, Ryan is on the bench. But, but he hasn't scored in eight, nine games. And they go, oh, yeah, he's still the best thing since sliced bread. No, he's not. Don't want him. Um, I, I'd rather have Solanke. If, if you're between Slanky and Tony. Yeah. So I've only uh, Watkins for a couple of years. Do, do, do you want to know what, you two? It doesn't matter because our teller refuses to use a fucking striker. And if they, he does use a striker, they're playing in the midfield. Because well, we don't have a striker, really. Did you just Dwayne Johnson it? It doesn't matter. It, he did just Dwayne Johnson it. Tony's sitting there it, now. It, it, the, the wheels are turning. He's like, I, I should have actually did it to interrupt one of them. Because it's what I usually it, do anyway. It doesn't matter what you need. Tom, I'm Tom, if you have one thing to do today, if you, if you find a sex in the free time, go and watch uh, Polly Dangerously get it elected into a Hall of Fame. But what, oh, what, you, don't, speech. what you don't do, Tom, is you don't watch the next to last one because there's a black Southern Baptist. Oh, what it's the brilliant. fuck happened? It's amazing. Yeah. That Thunderbolt Patterson, he, 
I felt what? like he was going to finish talking and it'd be WrestleMania 41. I, I'm like, what the fuck does he think it is? is does he still think it's Easter weekend? I mean, what's going on here? Yeah, oh. people very divided on that. Stefan, to answer your question, Tony is not stoned. This is how he is all the time. If anything, my stoneness calms me down. Tony's on the default, so that's not true. Tony's you can on the hear the excitement state. in his voice. I don't know how long I'm going to be on for tonight, lads, because it could be a long one. I I expect it will be. You you, you can go to a grocery store. You can get your lots of energy drinks, and you can buckle in. We're getting older, Tony. We can't do energy drinks like we used to be able to. And now they have a funny effect on me. I've never really liked them anyway, to be fair. I've only like had them in like Jaeger bombs and stuff, but they are definitely not my drink of choice. The only one I ever liked, I liked for rock stars. Uh, oh, only time I would have Red Bulls, like you said, if it's in some type of shot. But... What about Rippets, Tony? You like Rippets? Never had it. It was an energy drink of choice for the U.S. military for years. Our, our official gambling expert, Brownie, chasing his tail now, which you never, you're never doing well when you start describing a bet by saying you're chasing, but putting a bet on the win Leicester in play, which is probably a sound pick. But I imagine the odds were not fantastic, as they're almost certainly going to score. So. Oh my god, come on, Leeds. Sort, sort it out, you pricks. Won't they ruin WrestleMania? There's only one thing that can ruin WrestleMania, and that's Roman Reigns winning. Oh, I was going to say the opposite. I was going to say uh, Roman Reigns not being the champion is just going to make me go off of wrestling. <laughs> It's funny, it started last night. It's like, oh, he might be gone until May. Oh, he might be gone until SummerSlam. Well, what's fucking new? He hasn't wrestled since <laughs> the Rumble. <laughs> yeah. Three months off isn't going to make much of a difference. He, he's just taking three months off. He just travels to the shows. To be fair, I mean, it is about time that we've had a fighting champion. I mean, it's just a fucking waste of time. <laughs> But Stefan, I'll send you the link, mate, for the show. Me, me and Tom have a friendly debate. Um, Tom thinks, I think it's poor writing, sloppy writing to keep the same champion. Tom thinks it's great writing to keep the same champion. So so now you have Ripley, you have fucking Seth Rollins, you have fucking Gunther, you have fucking Roman Reigns. To me, it's shit writing. I mean, how hard is it to just say, oh, you keep the title? It's, it's oh, nice to have these, like, record-breaking runs. Don't get me wrong. Like, this Roman Reigns thing won't be done again for years. I mean, if Cody wins tonight, he'll probably lose it. by ne- He won't be champion next WrestleMania, put it that way. He'll be the challenger next WrestleMania, <laughs> probably. But but at this like Steve time, Austin. Steve Austin was never a defending champion at WrestleMania. He always won the belt at WrestleMania, so he loses it in between in the year in between. At this point, Gunther's two hundred and thirty days past the honky tonk man. Mm. I mean, come on, and he's still going to be champion tonight. I'm picking Zayn. I went with Sami Zayn. I, I wanted to go with it, but. I don't think they until they do a bash at Berlin. I'm not sure I think can. Gunther will lose it. I don't I know whether it be SummerSlam or something like that, and then he'll Berlin. go for the world title. I think it's he's a a That's why I picked tonight for him to lose, so he could make that push now. Him and McIntyre and Rollins going at it. I think he challenge Cody. Mm. Gunther's only going to drop the belt. When they move him up into the, it's like it'll be like the old style where like yeah, you know, the continental champion loses drop. it and it gets booked yeah. into the world title picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, um, 
I also think, um, <sighs> like, pick. basically, what you what Tony is proposing as a as a so it's midnight. We're going live at midnight, but the show starts. <laughs> Three two one. Brentford. Brentford have now completed the comeback. Two nil officially the most dangerous lead, which I. I think thought, it's been proven actually. tonight, Tom. Huh? It's been proven. Yeah. I think Gunther will be champion this time next year. I think, yeah. Basically, I think Gunther's the champion until they decide that Ilya Dragunov is coming up to the main roster. Because there's only one man that can dethrone Gunther, and I'm afraid it's Gavin. It's the man named Gavin. Is it crazy that he you know, is? Do you know? Oh, I, I'm convinced Omos was supposed to win that battle royal last night, but he eliminated himself. Who won it anyway? That's what Johnson I have. Reed. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, the person did, I did, did, did I get a bonus pick, Tom? I want two picks pick? for the tag team uh, thing. I, I went with the big Bronson. You did say Bronson Reed, to be fair to you. But um, yeah. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into uh, an impromptu uh, for Nelson. T- Tom, um, if you want to turn it to Peacock, they're doing the. We don't have Peacock. Gavin, Gavin Network, whatever he knows what it is. The Gavin, Gavin Network. Network. The Gavin yeah. Network is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, ga- 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 oh Jesus ga- Christ! It's now the Gavin Network. That's it. It's no longer Gavin. Peacock. They're it's gonna, no longer they WWE advertising network. Ted. They're gonna go watch Ted on the Gavin Network. The red card in the Burnley game. Slough winning one nil. You all wanted to know that. Uh, so, yeah, as a uh, Bayern Munich losing. Mm. I know we're losing shit. Why Leverkusen win? So their lead will be extended to sixteen points. It's a curse of Harry Kane, isn't it? Of course it is. Of course it is. If Harry Kane had stayed at Norwich, he'd have three trophies. Probably. If he stayed at Millwall, he'd have no trophies. Yeah, because Millwall were the Tottenham and the Championship. Um, oh, wild. Just... <laughs> They're giving like a... They're doing like a movie narrator, like voice over for the down. As I should. I mean, Villa. I blow that. They did. They did lose last week. Correct. Uh, Russ, did you see the kid take a penalty for Slough Town under 13s? I wasn't on my radar, no. I, personally, I'd worry it'd put me on some kind of register for watching. It. Yeah, watching the under-13s without a dog or your own child there. Yeah, it's a bit... <laughs> That's a dog. I, I imagine it must, it must have gone down, though, for Brownie to be on it. Like, I know, it must it. be breaking news in Wales. There's nothing else to do. It, it's Brownie. We find some it, outrageous content. It, it, it's... Is Brownie there, like, with a trench coat on and such? What's going on? I bloody hope not, because he'd be around the corner from me. Oh, God. <laughs> and Tony's going to turn around and go, I'm not stoned, I promise. Do you, should we just make you take a drug test live on air? <laughs> yeah, piss in a cup. Yeah, piss in uh, cup. I'm, I'm not sure how, we, how that would work since, we, since oh, weed stays in there. And then when Ryan Viral did it, I'll have to have a look Panelka. at this. Panenka? Is that the yeah, word? Yeah, Panenka, hopefully, yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, it's probably something that happens to someone's feet and they should get them checked. What did you do last night, Don? Tony's getting warmed up. So Villa had two games in hand, 59 points coming in. Uh, Tottenham, fifth position, 57 points. 
Well, it's Aston Villa one. losing means Spurs could. Yeah. yeah, yeah. To talk. Uh, the toilet Valley was talking to you. The flip minutes. side on that, Russ, is they still got to play us, City, and Liverpool left. So they're going to get somebody in that in that run in, but probably, I mean, they seem to have City's number. You want to take a wild guess of who would Don spoke to in Philadelphia last night? Don? Penalty in the West Ham game. Rocky. Who Dom spoke to. Winner, so winner, chicken dinner tonight. for Russ Morgan. Russ Morgan, yes, he was talking to a Rocky statue. 1 1 Wolves and the West Ham. 60 billion views will actually pass 9 million. That's not bad. That's not bad, Brownie, because our, my channel will pass 9 billion views at WrestleMania 700. Will, will they be like little heads and jars by then? Yeah. yeah. So, so who in your family will be running the channel at that point? Because that's... We have to be more non-PG, I think, to get us noticed anywhere. We have to take on some really wild views, I think. Some hot yeah. takes are needed. You have to learn from the Lee Gunner book. Yeah, be some really, really hot takes. Yeah. Well, we, we, you, you say we need to be non-PG, and Tony looked up, so I was thinking, keep your fucking clothes on, Tony. <laughs> yeah. We're still just, on Gary's channel right now. You just, you just take all your clothes off, Tony. That'll make us viral. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be it'll be the full nudeson. What about the half nudeson? We need to get matching outfits or something just to make us stand out. <laughs> this wear uniform. Yeah, well, well, refs uniform. Uh, I'm re that's what I was going to say. Refs, have you placed your order yet? Oh, for God's sake, man. You, you told me you are going I'm to trying to find them. a good deal here. Oh, West I'm trying to find yeah. Mr. Perfect's one he wore at WrestleMania 10. Do, do, do they have like... <laughs> that was do, like... Do, do they have like foot lockers in the UK? Can you just go fucking steal them? Uh, steal, a what? Steal lounge? it off the person wearing it? Yeah. No, you good, go man. back into a employee's lounge and just pick up a shirt. Oh, and yeah. Well, you they have those little locks. Around. They have those locks where you have to put a little number in. Ping in. Oh, God, Tony. I do you know how much these refs, for, even for like a costume, these ref t shirts cost bloody 30 odd quid? Transmere are losing, by the way. Transmere. Gary will be upset to discover. <laughs> Gary's decided, Mr. Tom, block Tony now. <laughs> All right, well, he asked. Quick, Tony, so... get your kit off now, quick. I'll put the line up no, in the uh... chat. I fully expect him to be on his in his birthday suit for the full Nelson. <laughs> oh, please don't. Please don't. And then he accidentally Arsenal. drops his camera into his lap. Ah, oh, come on. Is NXTW the half Nelson Dub? Nah, nah, there'll be children watching. And when I say children, I mean I'll be watching. So, Zinchenko's in for Kivior today. Oh, damn it. Don't tell me that Jesus and Zinchenko are both in there. They are in there. Ah, fuck! I knew it. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but. But it's about rotation, Tony. Spencer's doing the thing where he's he's basically he wrote the full team out just to cover for the fact that he just wanted to type habits. He's a like, guy. All right, yeah. Tony. How's that one? Is that one all right with you? Like, hi, hi. That, that that will work, Chris. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Amazon six pound sixty four. You know that you know that game where like you have uh, you say two words, but then the next word has to be connected to the last word of the first two words. You Only have connect, yeah. I have it. Yeah. I like how last night we had two Kai's, Tom. We had Discord a Kai and Kai Havertz. God, did you explain that? Sorry, uh... I'm did you do did... a little type in a dissertation? Is it going no. to be the team sheet for the opposition? Oh, no, I'm not, I don't care about the opposition. Okay. Okay. I knew Jorginho would start. I didn't expect him to start, but I think he wants Partey. You're going to see a cameo. I think you're going to see 60 from Jorginho today, and then 
Partey comes on, and then Partey starts on maybe <laughs> Tuesday. Nah, Jorginho. Jorginho is a play every game of rest every season. He didn't um, play. He didn't play on uh on two on Wednesday. He came on. We for played like the worst, one of the worst teams ever in Premier League history. Lutner, Lutner, way better. I mean, Sheffield United is the worst team in Premier League history, right? None of these teams are the worst team in Premier League history. You cannot speculate any of this while that Derby team from 2007 exists. That's true. They are the worst Premier League team in history. 11 points, I believe. One win against Newcastle, and they nearly got a second win against Newcastle, which really speculates that Newcastle were probably the second worst team in Premier League history. But I'll tell you, the worst team in Championship history feels like right now. Jesus it's Christ. Switched. Make something happen, lads. Oh, now we're starting to crack off some shots, but I'd rather start Luton has tied it off. We got a goal in the Fulham Newcastle game. Uh, uh, on what, what the way just... of... Who's it gone to? Spencer Whose goal? I don't. I haven't. They haven't shown the full the full Newcastle yet. They just got Newcastle. a notification. Mm. Fabian Cher yeah. has scored. There you go. Luton have tied it up. Tom, Tom, who, who's more more unpredictable, Gacy or me? Are we talking John Wayne Gacy or you? <laughs> No, no but, Joe Gacy is more unpredictable than you. You think so? We're talking I about know the, full well what you're going to do in situations. The clown predator? Are we talking about here? The no, serial killer? About the rest but, boxer on, the on a stick. Boxing oh, on a stick. okay. Well, I was worried there for a second. Is, yeah, yeah. We're going to have to go check your gentleman. basement. There we go. See. Glove on stick. There's a VAR check in the... Uh, the Newcastle full on these headed to the monitor. This one looks as if it's coming back. I just hope I guess you go to the monitor every time. Yes, always go to the monitor. At least make it look like the ref's making a decision. Spencer, oh, uh, sorry, Stefan. That's it's coming back. Well, that's terrible. That is so terrible. That's going to end up being a no goal. Is there any way we can get Hadji Wright removed from Earth? He scored again? Nah, just... I'm just ruminating on the fact that I don't like that he scored at all. It's because of all the things I say about Americans. I think he took it personally. I, think I mean, I've watched this three down. times, and I think this is a penalty, and the ref keeps staring at the road. You can see um, Dan Byrne put his elbow in the back of uh, the Fulham player's head. Bow. All right. Good call. And Villa has tied it up 3-3. Yep. So Ollie Watkins is knew I shouldn't have taken him out of my fantasy team. So, if Villa go on to win 4-3... Are you going to tell me that 3 2 is the most dangerous lead? <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to tell you at that time. I mean, I feel like this can change at a moment's notice, Tom. It really I could. Fe I, I feel like those two are scoring more goals than the whole championship combined. Well, the as soon as Ollie Watkins scored the second goal, or his second goal, sorry, Ivan Tony's been chucked in. Yep. <clears throat> so. How much do you think Ollie Watkins would cost, Russ? 80 million. That's if they get in the Champions League. Getting my business off the ground. Goal. Leeds have scored. Uh -oh. I can't hide my excitement, Tom. Dan Byrne literally takes his elbow and pushes him in the back of the head. Come on, come on. Come on, get another one. And he complained about it. What's the score then, Tom? 2-1 to Coventry. You've still got a few minutes left, I guess. 
Yeah, you got to uh, stoppage. Yeah, you could probably do it, Tom. You can do it. Never give up. Nice. It'd be nice. It'd be a great start to WrestleMania weekend after the previous great start to WrestleMania weekend, Ooh. which is pro- currently being undone by um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Um, lovely. Lovely. So, looking at the table now, you got Everton at 15th on 29, Brentford at 29 points, Forrest at 25, Luton at 23. If Burnley def- get defeated by Everton today, I think you could. I mean, Sheffield United, I mean, they're gone, right? I mean, the 15 points. I mean, I, yeah, 10, 10 points between them and 17th, but I mean, I think they're done. Could you potentially put Burnley in there too if they don't get any, anything out of the Everton game today? We well, don't know whether Everton are going to get another points deduction. That's true. But if they're at 29, 23, and 25, well, 23 is the cutoff. They get another six off. That would put them at 23. And they we're, have getting, better, we're getting better Booker older. and Wade, Tom. We, we might have to jump off because I think the preview might be happening pretty free match. I'll what? keep you. Fine. They they do it and start the thing you play out now. Um, Yep, here, here it comes, Tom. Yeah, Newcastle nice. forward. Bruno Gamarsh has put it in for Newcastle. Did you say though, Spence? Oli Watkins, 80 million if Champions League, 60 if not. Is that if Villa makes the Champions League? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I'd take Oli Watkins have... over Solanke, Tony. Yeah, if those are your three options, I, I'd have to agree with that. Even even Watkins at twenty seven, that's still three or four, probably five years of of good play from him, right? Striker play. Um, and you know he can do it. So yeah, and that's the thing too. If you keep progressing in the Champions League, I think they what made ninety one million making it to the quarterfinals. That's probably another ninety some just to make it to the semifinals. That would increase the amount of money you know for potential expenditures vice uh the liabilities because everybody said the money was funny right um mm-hmm. i would yeah i would be interested in in ollie watkins over i i don't see tony the, the numbers we've heard thrown out russ there's just no way there's no way you're paying for the amount like considering the eight month ban he's already gotten in trouble like that's just such a huge risk for any club to take on i don't see it happening yeah it's just a, the no. way that he's been disrespecting brentford as well yeah. He's so so the stand has gone up 2-1. We've, we've gone to the upside down, Tom. West Ham. Yeah. Yeah, see all that Moyes out sort of things died off a bit, hasn't it? Uh-oh. I mean, they're up to seventh, too. Exactly. It's like, what What does a West Ham fan want, exactly? You're not gonna, it's not going to get any better than this, basically. You're still in Europa League. You're seventh in the Premier League. What What, what do you expect? What else do you want? It's entitlement. They now want to be entertained while winning games. It's like, get, but you're get, not winning games because you're good at football. You're winning games get, because you're good at stopping the other team from beating you. Some would argue ambition, but I would say it's entitlement. I would have to agree with the entitlement discussion. The ambition thing is it's also you have to know your place. And like you need to know your role. Yeah. And it's not for again stepping out of your station, but it's for the club to do that. Yeah. And West Ham do not have a lot of money. So And if they were if yeah, you don't sell Declan Rice. So, so they sold um, Declan Rice and they're still seventh and in Europa League yeah. at this stage of the season, so right. they must be doing something right. Correct. Tom Rich Holland attacked uh Gacy Lachera halfway down the ramp before he made it into a ring. Okay, so if that if the match doesn't happen, yeah, it's, it, it's happening, but the match is going on, Tom. Oh, that's really handy because I've picked Sean Spears, so. To be fair, I think everyone worth pick Sean Spears. It's a perfect ten. Did, did I pick him? Uh, there's an answer to that. 
yeah, you, you tend to go with your heart rather than in your head, Tony. I don't know any of the NXT guys. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. I just kind of flipped a coin. Yeah, I don't have a clue. And uh, this is going to sound even worse. In the women's matches, I just pick the prettier of the two, usually. Yeah, the one with the biggest boobs. <laughs> I usually go with the blondes, but I went with Rhea Ripley oh, this time. Tony went with Gacy, because of course he did. Tony goes with a bit of TNA when he's watching them, when he's picking his ladies. Yep, that was what TNA is. It, it... Jesus, how many hours in the day are there for you, Stefan? How many? So basically, you'd have you Tiffany Stratton as every but, world champion going. Well, hold on here. Didn't didn't West Ham get that stadium for free? Yeah. Yeah. I think and they sold off their old one. A year in rent or something. Yeah. I mean, obviously... it... go ahead, Russ. I'm sorry. Yeah, and I say obviously they sold off their old stadium for development. I mean, I understand that the that the Olympic Stadium, like the seating's far away, so there's not like. But if you got a stadium for free, I mean, it's really handy, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure there's other London clubs that would have killed for it. Uh, Tottenham tried to get it. Tottenham built their own stadium because they didn't get this. I don't think their fans would have liked them to have moved. Who was the two? Who was the three teams buying for it, Tom? I don't know who the third one was, but I know it was between Tottenham and West Ham. I can't imagine who what other London team would have wanted it, really. I know Leighton Orient did not want West Ham to have it, but obviously they had no chance of getting it. Who else is out that way, really? It, it, where is it at? It's is it the Olympic Stadium. Is that in London. West London? East London. East London. It is a. It's just it's next to the Westfield Shopping Centre. Oh, they were bidding for it. There you go. That they really should have got it. And I don't mean in terms of like because they're big club or whatever. Because I doubt they'd even fill it. But Tom, where are you based? In Canning Town, East London. Okay, so it's quite near to where you are. I thought it was. Oh yeah, I could I could be there in ten minutes if like if the bus is. Let's have scored in the 88th minute. Imagine my shock. That's a great point. Or the 90th minutes. Aston Villa 3 3. Everton still up 1 0. Newcastle up 1 0. Luton and Bournemouth tied at 1 and West Ham up 2 1. Oh. I'm going to turn the Everton Burnley game on. Let's see what's going on over here. What minute it's at. Seven Who's minutes this? extra time in Villa Brentford. Who's this guy Sean Spears is fighting? That is Joe Gacy. He used to be a cult leader and now he's just a psychopath. But he's a lovable psychopath as he's a baby face. Especially when he has a glove on his dick. Yeah, he's basically he's the uh, guy who punched uh Dijak by rolling out of the ring from under it and then hitting him with a glove on a stick. Hmm. Oh, I should have picked him. He's one. Five minutes of extra time in the Everton Burnley game. What do you think? Uh, scored Brownie. Ow, that would hurt. Oh, that's nice. Let's draw a winning. Does does Burnley stick with Vincent Company, Russ yes. and Tom? When you think so? Yes, I don't see. I don't see why any team at the bottom should get rid of their managers because those teams are just absolute rubbish. <laughs> I mean, stick. at the end of the day, you, they're gonna they're gonna go back down and they'll have a bloody good year in the championship. Burnley will. Yeah, why would you sack the managers that got you promoted when you know you're probably going to get relegated anyway? Exactly. This just doesn't make sense. They'll get sacked the second time round. Watford would definitely sack. 
<laughs> oh yeah, well, yeah. Watford are. Uh... Watford have already had four this season. It's insane. Worse than Chelsea. Yeah. There's a goal on the Luton Bournemouth game. Yeah, Luton have gone up. Luton have gone up. How about that? That would put Luton plus one level Forest. with Forest. Which I'm, I want Forest to go down. Like they're annoying. Forest got Chelsea, have they? Uh, yes, tomorrow, the late game. Well, it's, it doesn't start the same time as the Liverpool United game, I think. I still think there's going to be a big legal battle if Leeds don't come up, because obviously we're going to be like, how comes the teams that fouled financial fair play get to get promoted? Or get to stay in the Premier League? Tom, is that one of your children? It is a child. <laughs> <laughs> one of his many children that he's got stashed away. We don't want Jesus to see Christ, Christ, that makes me sound like a criminal. Yeah, Joseph Fritzel. <laughs> Morris got the goal for Luton. How about that? That puts Bournemouth back in 12th on 41 points. Luton would still be in the bottom and then drop zone because they have a minus six goal difference. And all of it will be, given our earlier conversation about Chelsea, all of it will be void once Chelsea drops the forest tomorrow. Chelsea should not have won that match against United. Yeah, to get switched off like that and that, you know what I mean? Like, it's just... And those penalties were soft, soft as. I mean, look at the one. If you, I mean, you get to see the replays today. The Wolves West Ham one just seems soft to me too. I don't really know what a penalty is anymore, and I'm not trying to be funny and cliche with that. I just see so much stuff get not given, and then stuff, soft stuff given. It just doesn't make any sense. If it was Arsenal, those penalties would not get given. Russ, why does it feel like each of these two guys have been going for 45 minutes? They look totally wore out after eight minutes here. He's just giving him a pedigree and he still didn't win. Oh, God. Oh. Wait, so are they actually starting the NXT show at five? Well, yes. I'm, I'm I thought watching they were it starting now. At six. We have, uh, we have a. It, it's it's starting at the top of our top in however many minutes. Six minutes. Yeah, six minutes. Jesus Christ. Sean All Spears right, well. just lost, man. Yeah. Wait, wait what? Ahead. Yeah. Who's that? Tony, you got a point. Yeah, Sean Spears just lost. <laughs> tell, tell the internet world goodbye, Tom. Tell us to go join of a full mouse if you're not watching our show. Tom looks actually shocked. He's just, we've been talking, me and Tony have been talking about this match for the past 15 minutes. <laughs> he's like, what? What? So who, does that mean Gacy won? Yeah. Yeah, I got a point. <laughs> got a point already. I don't even know who the fuck he is, to be honest yeah, with you. This is going to be like a bad. He's a complete fucking psycho. This is going to be bad for me. I know. I can tell. Oh. oh. Brent, uh, Villa are on a run here. Six minutes left. Six minutes of extra time in. And Brentford stopped the attack. Everton have picked up three points. They're on 29. Do uh, Dominic Calvert-Loon scored a goal. That was one of the worst you'll ever see in, your, in history um, from a keeper <laughs> perspective. I hope I can watch that Carmelo Hayes Trick Williams match. I hope they put that on late. It it will be last. I'm pretty sure of it. It's got the biggest push. Um, excuse me, and one second. Tony, did you know that Trick Williams played football at the University of South Carolina? That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, he was What's a wide his receiver. Name? Uh, it's like Benton or something. Trick Williams. I'd love it if his name was Trick Williams. It's it's not his real name. Um. 
will be over on this channel for his NXT. real name is Avengers, the link. Matrix Sorry, Belton. Belton. Sorry, what? Matrix Belton. Matrix. 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 Yeah. But what did you think? Uh, Matrix Belton, aka WWE Superstar Tricks Williams, once had a brief stint with the Philadelphia Eagles. There you go. Brief enough um, that they're going to cheer the shit out of him. Yes. What, Hometown what, what, boy. What's the Obey Femi's real name? That's all the thing I care about. What, what's... Ain't, it fu- ain't it fucking yeah. Babatundi Ola for Mokta? Anyway, I'll put the link to the Martins. NXT in the thing, in the private chat. Um, Sorry for the noise. Yeah, but... You will be, Spencer. You need to send them out when you're on video. It's the missus. Yeah, you need to yes. send them out. As soon as this Carmelo thing. I called an Alonzo. That's the only reason I'm in because of my lot have gone out sure. and they're not back till tomorrow. As soon as this video package is Three Carmelo and yeah, man. Games, then, then it starts to. Wolves have scored. Get on the phone to the dealer. It was a score. Alright, Tom, what time are you starting your full Nelson? Well, I was going to start it at 5.30, but if they're actually starting NXT at the top of the hour, then it's a, it's earlier than the... Ad, I googled what time it would start, and I basically said it would start at 5, but I thought that would mean the pre-show would start at 5. Know what I meant. So, somehow Tony's to blame for this. But anyway, so yeah, we'll go live early or in a minute. Basically, I'm going to cut this off when Leeds full time occurs, which is about to happen probably. And Leeds have just decided to start peppering them with shots because, of course, we have. Would have been cool if we did that from the first minute. Right, so who's definitely around tonight then? I've sent out the links to the usual suspects. I'm going to come hang out for a little bit. See what? I mean, it's actually quite ideal if this actually does start early because then if it finishes at 8 o'clock, then I've got even more time because we're going live at midnight for WrestleMania. You can plan your dinner better, is that what you're saying, Tab? Well, yeah, I'll have longer to eat it. It's more about putting out the, sorting out the tweets and shit. Four cards. <laughs> Funny about that. I thought having them to hand, like, I've, well, I've actually got to type it all out. But for the, the, not for night two, but I can do that tomorrow. Uh, more importantly, though, I can't, I can't wait to see the stadium at night. The goal has been taken away in the Wolves West End game for an offside. What? So it's, what's the time? What's the score? Two one to West End. Yep. Oh, slough drawing. Chelmsford have had two players sent off. Summer Hadji Wright is on my shit list. <laughs> What is it these American players have against Leeds? Tom, what did you think of Ripley's look last night for the Hall of Fame? I thought she was well put together, a solid citizen, a good specimen. She's you so do fucking monstrous. But between yeah, you wouldn't want to stink face off her though, Tony. But between the fucking, it's just insane. Between the swimming and the weightlifting, her her upper body is just ginormous. Now, then, and forever is coming, Tom. Yeah, forever. Somewhat. Sean Spears was on the pre-show for NXT. Yeah. 
How badly he's fallen. I, I figured he would win based off of the fact that he's literally just reappeared on camera and Joe Gacy can take defeats. But ostensibly, they think that Sean Spears can take defeats, which I misjudged. Basically, he turned up and was tied in injure. That was when he was a jobber. Sure, Michaels didn't get the memo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not this lot again. You drive me mad, these people do. <laughs> oh, what, the metaphor? Yeah, but my I'm metaphor... It went, it went from a metaphor showing him in four-color box to then eating dinner, probably at McDonald's. Right, well, anyway, if you don't mind, I'm going to end the show because then I'm going to hop over onto the full Nelson and the links are they're all around. Um, Tom, Matt, uh, Russ, what's your prediction for today for the Brighton yeah, Arsenal yeah, game? Sorry, sure. No, no, no real quick. Uh, 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 we should win. Yeah. Hopefully. One, I think uh, uh, two, two, four, four nil. Four nil, you, you're, going, you're going hard. Yeah, I just I'm don't not... think right now. Jesus is playing, Spencer. Jesus and Jinko. We don't score as many goals. They got Havertz out there, Tony. Yeah, we got Kai Havertz going. <laughs> yeah. I just, I, I think, uh, I just don't think Brighton are as good as they, they, they used to be, Russ. I don't, I, you know, we, we looked pretty good with them at the, the home leg. We played them earlier this year. What, um, what, what I want to know, Spencer, since you, you're done with your Christmas lights. Yes. Have you constructed a giant Kai Havertz? Lighted sculpture in your backyard. No, it's in front of your yard. I dropped it off this morning. Oh, I can't I have it. Still has to win me over. Sorry. That's fair. Um, Tony, he's in your front yard. Kai Havertz is. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it, Tom. I just want to ask Russ and Tony what their thoughts were for today. And uh, no, 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 nothing, nothing untoward has happened. Uh, no, I'm fine with it. Um. It, I should have actually offered, to be honest, um, rudely. Terrible. But host. Tony's desperate to get onto NXT because it's his baby, as we discussed earlier. Yeah. He's gonna. He's gonna be. It's gonna be like this. Tom Monday on the on the on the show. He's gonna be like, Tommy, what'd you think of the game? Well, I didn't watch it. I was watching NXT instead. Oh, it's the pre-show of NXT. Joe Gacy is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe. Ah, look at that. It's African Murder King, Tom AMK. I was going to say, let's put it another way. One of us can get 100% on NXT thus far. And that one of us is not us. two of us. Two of yeah, us. Yeah, two of them. Spencer, Wait, Spencer, Spencer doesn't know well. who either motherfucker is, but Spencer got all right, it right. All right. I've already <laughs> forgot what you'll pick, so we'll run through it when, I, when we get over there. Um, okay. So, everyone, thank you for joining us on the trip. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not that I didn't believe you. I was just surprised that you picked him. Anyway. um, I didn't know anything. I just guessed, so. <laughs> Fair enough. That's what Makes me thinking. feel even worse. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Okay. So, guys, we usually do like the say goodbye to the people and all that so good, good night time. tony goodbye people that's anything you want to say to your adoring fans and i know you have three of them i'm one tony or me so. no the, the russ has got three fans one of them's me thanks for joining us i don't know when i'll be on again don't know probably when gary if ever disappears <laughs> No, it, was, it was genuinely good fun. Uh, I'm now looking for the outro video because it's never in the place that it should be. The, the, uh, the video package is finally in this ready to start down. So. Fine. Whatever. Okay. Cool. Have a good night, everyone. Take care. And, See you and Wade Barrett's up. there, Tom. Wait, Wade's joining. Oh, hang on. T sorry, Tony. What was you going to say about NXT? Wade Barrett. <laughs> Life is a journey, don't wait to trust, you're the one.